Alright guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Yesterday, Microsoft released some new footage on the game and as always with these things, this stuff is well worth taking a close look at. And as to be expected, there's some exceptional levels of detail going on here. So let's work our way through this footage and see what's going on. This clip here then is called Baltimore May. Now, out of all the clips released yesterday, this one was the longest. Some of them were just literally six seconds long or less. This one was nearly one minute long. What we can notice here, aside from the detail on the city down below, is the movement of the clouds. Theoretically, if we were able to accelerate this up fast enough, we'd be able to get a time lapse of this. However, the clip at one minute really isn't long enough to get a good feel for that. However, what's more interesting to me here is the actual lighting the way it casts across the clouds and the way it illuminates the clouds from within. And also, at certain points throughout this video, we get to see the way these shadows change as they're cast across the city below. Let's just take a look at an example of that. At this altitude, it's fairly subtle. However, it's one of those things that just adds immensely to the environment and the atmosphere. As we all already know, this level of detail isn't just reserved for the environment, but also for the planes themselves. In this clip, as well as the following clip, we get to once again see just how detailed the planes are. With these level of graphics going on, it's very easy to wonder exactly what type of hardware is going to be needed. Now do keep in mind that this is also apparently going to run on the Xbox One, although I imagine what we're seeing here for the most part is PC footage. The Xbox version is going to come a little bit down the line, but nonetheless it's going to be certainly interesting to compare the Xbox build to the PC build when they're both available. But in terms of current PC hardware requirements, from what I've been able to see online, specifically from Reddit, most people who have been accepted into the alpha build seem to have 32 gigabytes of RAM. So yeah, that's to be expected, it is very high, but of course a large portion of that will be down to the fact that this is an alpha build and therefore largely unoptimized. As development goes on, the requirements will probably get a little bit lower, uh, although I would be surprised if this requires anything less than 16 gigabytes. And talking of the alpha phases, the second alpha has just gone live. Invites were sent out between the 20th and the 27th of January. So if you haven't got in yet, don't worry. Uh, there's still the opportunity to get in on further builds. And if you do want to sign up, check out the links in the video description. But of course, this is invite only, so there's no guarantee you're going to get in. And of course, there is a pretty strict NDA covering access. So then, graphics aside, one of the real highlights of this new footage is the fact it shows off some more real-world locations. This then is Lake Tokapo in New Zealand, a very, very lovely location, beautiful place, and somewhere I'd love to go one day, but really haven't had the opportunity yet. But that really is the appeal of Flight Simulator, isn't it? The ability to go to all the locations in the world that you perhaps otherwise wouldn't get to go to. And with them being modelled on real-world satellite imagery, they're going to look very, very close to the real thing. The next clip doesn't actually say where it's located, it simply says March Early Shoreline. And we've seen from previous videos that things such as waves are simulated and actually affected by the other weather conditions going on. But something I really enjoy looking at here is the way the water looks in the more tropical conditions. And I find this particularly interesting because it actually shows off the landscape below sea level. And talking of detail, just notice the little boat there off to the left hand side of the screen. So, once again, some stunning footage on display from Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you want to take a closer look at these clips, you can find them all on the official YouTube channel, and I'll link that in the video description below. There's also another development blog scheduled for the 6th of February, and you'll be able to see that on the Flight Simulator website, although I will, of course, be covering that here as well, so do keep an eye out for it. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.